All right, I'm in Algonquian Regional Park, right next to the Potomac River, right near DC. I've got Cesar Villacorta with me. He's that gecko keeper from those awesome gecko episodes. We are looking for salamanders today, and I'm really hoping to find a red-spotted new. Let's do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. I think these actually produce cyanide, if I'm not mistaken. We saw some pretty amazing things today, and I will get to that. Also, some bad stuff happened to me, and I'll also get to that. But yes, Caesar and I are herping for this week's Casual Outdoors Weekly, where I test out outdoors activities for you to try out, as we also knock up our nature smarts. This week is salamander herping. There's a little pond right back there. So I think we could find some salamanders in that rough. What do you think? Yeah. Go check it out. I'll quickly remind you, just like any type of toad is a frog, not all frogs are toads. And any type of newt is a salamander, but not all salamanders are newts. That one. Oh. Caesar, buddy, we found a marbled salamander. We're only what, 10 minutes into this? Yeah. And we really want to find a uh, oh, wow. okay. red spotted Honestly, newt. I didn't see it until right now. I see it now. Shoot. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? I told you, bro. You look around the pond and you find it. And here, oh, you. You know what? This is so cool, man. Okay. You can see the eggs, the eggs the are embryos. the embryos yeah. in there are moving. Okay, what you got? Oh, nice. And it's like wide awake. This was the first Jefferson salamander either one of us had seen. I had to go home that night to ID it. Alright, we've got two species. Let's try to improve our species count. So big thanks to Luca Reptile and Bobby Fingers on iNaturalist for quickly confirming the ID on that species. Also, thanks to the Virginia Herpetological Society for having such a great... Uh, website. It's a great resource. And it turns out this could possibly be the most eastern most sighting of this species in Virginia. So, what a find. No way. All right. Ah. Ah. Ooh, I'm running. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, beautiful. Peste. In. Yes, we have the terrestrial eft form of the red spotted newt. I'm so happy. Thank you, Caesar. So they stay in this form for one to three years before heading back to the water. This is the red spotted newt, a subspecies of the eastern newt. And all eastern newt subspecies secrete tetrodotoxin, or TTX, which is a neurotoxin that disrupts the nervous system by blocking sodium channels. A symbiotic bacteria actually produces the TTX within the newt, and the newt is able to secrete this substance as a defense against predators. A study did confirm that fishes like the largemouth bass and bluegill, as well as crayfish, will avoid consuming the eastern newt compared to non-TTX uh, containing prey. And yes, they did kill a lot of eastern newts to do this study. Sometimes we scientists can be real ass for scientific discovery. But some predators like the common garter snake, the American bullfrog, and turtles are capable of eating these toxic newts. So this brightly colored eft, or a terrestrial juvenile, is in its most toxic stage of life. The aposomatic coloration, that bright red and spotting, warns predators of its dangerous contents. The adult's eggs and larvae of the eastern newt subspecies also contain TTX and possibly other secondary metabolites that deter predators from eating them. 
So what a great day to get out there and see those amazing things. I hope you do this activity. Even when it's cold, you can go find some salamanders. Uh, the bad things that happened to me, I forgot to wear my boots. So my athletic shoes, what I normally work out in, got soaking wet and my toes froze. Secondly, I accidentally need my 300 millimeter lens on my, my camera that was on my tripod and it broke from the housing. And as I found out, I also lost the ball uh, head on my tripod. So I'm gonna have to go back into those woods today and try and find it. So I have to give a big thanks to my patrons for making these videos possible for you to watch. They chip in a buck or more every month. I can get some production done, they're a part of something great. And I keep trying to get Caesar to be a patron, and I need your help. I need you to comment below, and we're gonna do a little campaign. Say, Caesar, be a co-nature patron. Okay, spread some knowledge, be nature heroic, and I hope to see you next week.